If there's one thing Brazil wanted more than anything else, it was this. Fans, old and young alike, dancing in celebration after their football team won Olympic gold. It was the best, the best, said this man. I've lost my voice because I shouted so much. I've never seen anything like this, said this woman. It's like I was in a dream. The stadium rocked and the fans cheered. To bring my kids here was any mother's dream. A dream that came true thanks in no small part to Neymar. He opened the scoring, putting Brazil ahead in the first half. Germany are no pushovers, of course, and they equalised through Max Meyer early in the second. It went to penalties, and it was Neymar who scored the crucial goal. Brazil winning the gold they wanted more than any other. Someone who already had three goals was Great Britain's Mo Farah. Could he pick up a fourth in the 5,000 metres? Yes, he could. It may not be a triple treble, but it's not bad. There were a couple more goals for the United States, coming first in the women's and the men's 4x400 metres relay. Jamaica was second in both. South Africa's Casta Semenya was the strong favourite to win the women's 800 metres, which she promptly did. She was always in control, pulling away to win by a distance. Away from the track, Nicola Adams successfully defended the flyweight boxing title she won in London four years ago. She's the first British boxer to win back-to-back -back golds since 1924. It's still nip and tuck in the medals table. Chen Long's victory in the badminton means China is only one goal behind Great Britain, who are in second place. But when it comes to goals, for these people, leaving the Maracanar after the football final, there's only one that matters. Tim Ullman, BBC News.